in this week's uh, update for our models around for COVID-19, uh, our results are quite similar to last week's forecasts. There are some important points to uh, notice in, in what we're seeing develop around the world. As expected and as forecasted uh, for the last four or five weeks, uh, cases have peaked in India and deaths are now peaking as we expected. Uh, and we should see by next week, uh, we believe deaths going down at the national level, some variability across states. But good news in a, in a very dark story that at least currently the uh, death toll is starting to come down. Uh, elsewhere around the world, I think uh, places where there's continued marked increase in cases include Japan, uh, the steady rise in cases and in deaths uh, certainly are uh, clearly going to cause uh, considerable concern and discussion around the Olympics uh, because uh, we're now at a point where the epidemic is the worst it's been in, in Japan in the course of the pandemic. Another important area is the slow, steady decline in cases and deaths in the United States as well as in most of Europe. And this raises the question of if we, as we expect, continued scale up of vaccination and summer seasonality, the, the low level of seasonality, should keep transmission uh, going, steadily going down. And even the, uh, you know, what we expect will be quite a considerable drop in mask use because of the CDC guidelines in the US haven't really changed our US forecast very much. And I think this points out that in a period of uh, low seasonality and high and rising vaccine uh, coverage, uh, mask use may not be the critical driver that it will be later in the year. And so we expect that um, there isn't you know, a, a critical challenge uh, in sustaining high levels of mask use over the summer in the Northern hemisphere. We do believe as we look out longer range into the winter and as seasonality start to kick back in and as new variants uh, threaten to spread that uh, have immune escape, that mask use may well come back to be a critical part of our strategy for controlling the pandemic. Uh, other good news is that in Brazil, uh, cases and deaths are in aggregate starting to trend down. Uh, and so suggesting that despite reverse seasonality, seasonality intensifying in, in Brazil, we aren't, we're seeing some, you know, reasonable amount of control around the P1 driven epidemic there. Uh, that's a more sensitive situation because seasonality is intensifying. And of course, uh, social distancing, maintaining, you know, mask use is absolutely critical for the control in, in the southern part of South America in the face of the escape variant P1. So those are the main points uh, for COVID this week uh, as we look forward over the next four months.